Hi everyone, it's Laurel here, and um, today I came home and I was greeted by a box um, from Pink Scrapper's Boutique, and um, I just wanted to share it with you. I had made um, some purchases, and uh, you know, just seeing Carlene's praises. Um, first of all, to tell you guys, I made this order on Friday. Today is Monday. Um, she's in Idaho. I'm in New Jersey. I only paid priority shipping, you know, and super fast guys. Um, so, you know, certainly not that much and, um, very, very well worth it. Um, Carlene had in her store, um, a lot of the new Tim Holtz products and, um, you know, you know how I love my Tim. I couldn't wait. So I'm just going to share with you some of the things that I picked up. So I picked up the um, pattern and stitches set in the texture fates. You get the one that looks like the pattern in the background and then the individual strip stitch ones. Um, was very, very cool. I actually have a card right here that I'm probably going to redo. This is a card that I made for my mom. But this background, I think, would look really cool embossed with the pattern because the fact this flower is made out of pattern material, you know, the, the tissue. So anyways, so that's where I was going with that. Um, I picked up one of the pocket watch frames, just one. Um, I got a package of the vials. And then I got some dies, um, which was why I made the order. I picked up the sewing room die. And then I also picked up the base tray. And then I got two of the movers and shapers. Um, this is the mini bird cage, bird and cage set, and the mini butterfly set. So those two. Um, I, I will say that Carlene's prices are really great. Um, you know, they're all discounted over what you would pay in the store. I mean, it's certainly no. First off, my stores don't even have this yet. And, you know, I'm talking about the chain box places. Um, Carlene has the best prices that I have seen on the Internet um, for these dyes. So as she's getting them in, I definitely would check it out. Um, you know, if you want to wait, you can certainly do better with a coupon, but I couldn't wait. <laughs> um, and then I also got um, some of the papers. Um, this is the Crowded Attic Stack. And um, I was, I, I've tried to record this video a couple of times. Um, and my camera kept losing focus. So, it's back page. So this is from the back. I'm just going to kind of flip through. This is um, the border strips and the ATCs. Um, you know, printer's tray. I just love that. My father was a printer, so, and my mother's a seamstress. So I think that this particular stack is uh, speaks to me. More of the border strips. Um, these are the two by twos. You know, some are very muted colors. Some uh, are very vibrant colors. Here's the six by six. This is corked vials. This is house numbers. These are, I don't know if you can see, let's see, this is old vintage ink pad tops. And then this is a paint tray over here. So I don't want to lose the focus. So there's the printer's tray rulers at the top over here and then this is the flip side this is the wood block side of these stamps so how cool is that some old notebooks buttons um, looks like measurements this is all findings like for sewing this is a pattern a map this looks like it might be from Alice in Wonderland I haven't seen it right side up yet um, this is old adver advertisements, and then this is a catalog page for like gears and sprockets. This is architectural drawings. This looks like an encyclopedia page from Moth and Butterflies. These are old letters, and these are labels. 
So this stack, I think, you know, I always feel like Tim's stuff is made especially for me. This is a multiplication table. This is a ledger. This is a different ledger at the top. And then this is our playing cards. That's small. So here we go with the 12 by 12. And forgive the horrible lighting. These are the house numbers. This is the vials all with quirks in them. This is the paint tray. This is the stamp pads. I love that. This is the wooden side of the rubber stamps in the alphabet. And this is the back side, the actual stamps in the printer's tray. This is the rulers. This is like the notebook garden about gardening this is the numbers it almost looks like they could be labels and for dressmaking somehow so the buttons this is the findings page it has quilting needles it has buttons safety pins needle books um, art it says artsy mending thread some lace it's very cool this is the pattern page. This is the one that I think might be Alice. To look at that right side up. Or it's definitely like nursery rhymes. This is the map. Uh, advertisements. This is the catalog page in French, I think. This is the letters. This is, um, looks like chocolate wrappers in French. This is the butterfly page. This is the architectural drawing, like blueprint. This is the one ledger, multiplication table, the playing cards, and then the inventory ledger. So I got two of these stacks because I like his paper stash so much. And then I also got the Craft Resist. She had that in. And, um, you know, last time I checked the website, these paper stacks were 1250. I mean, I think that's really good because that's not, you know, with 40% off, if they had them at, uh, say, a Michael's, that's what I would pay. So um, I don't know if I should share her prices, but definitely you guys got to check her out. So this is the first time I'm looking at this paper. And basically it has resisted embossing within it. So we have a beautiful bird. I like this because you get two. And the only thing I would criticize, and I don't know, it would have to be so big, but in the um, in the Crowded Addict, as in the Lost and Found, you only got one sheet. Um, oh, so it looks like three. And this is like architectural drawing and on graph paper. So it looks like you get three sheets. This is the butterfly with the craft resist on it, with the, with the embossed resist on it. So three sheets of that. This um, is dictionary, curiosity, memory, amusement. And it has all the numbers, these numbers going through it. The embossing. This is a ledger. And I'm flipping because they're the same. This is the world, and it has kind of like an overlay of on it. This is the pattern pieces. And this looks like a handwritten letter. So very cool. Um, I think I will enjoy all of that very, very much. And Carleen sent me a lovely gift. Um, she handmade this. 
Um, it's the cutest little mini. I, I mean, and the fact that she gave it to me, I just think is wonderful. It has little tags in it. And the key, which is like one of my favorite things. Bottle cap. Very creative. And it's like really sturdy black chipboard. And I loved I love these grommets. I've been, I was hoping she had them to, for sale in her store, but I didn't see them. So how nice was that? And a lovely card. And then she also included some of these on Kaiser Craft Workshop magazines. Just for free. Just to give some ideas. So, you know, she does a lovely job. She's really growing her store. I strongly, strongly suggest you go and check out the pricing. It's I'm definitely going to be making another order soon. Um, so check her out. It's Pink Scrappers with the S Boutique. And um, I'll put the, connect, uh, the, the web address below. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.